boom, 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 boom. You already know what the fuck it is with your boy. He takes trade, last entertainment. Yo, we right back at it again. And the shit I'm bringing to y'all is so bizarre. I can't make this shit up. So I'm just letting y'all know before we start the video. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe. I'm bringing some content that's going to knock you out your seats and be like, what the fuck going on? Yeah, it's like that. But anyway, yo, before we get into this video, I'm going to kind of break it down for y'all and just give you a little insight in regards to the circumstances here because it did go down. So what we're looking at um, was a domestic violent incident that ended up happening and the police were called to the apartment here in the Chicago area on 66th and Harvard. So upon entry of the residence, officers encountered a, another indip- individual who occupied the residency. So on, on this screen, I'm going to pause it. Yo, we're going to do a quick pause because this person is in a whole other room, right? And the video does not show the encounter with the officers in regards to the uh, actual attempt on their lives. But just looking at where they show, looking at where this person is at, can they close the distance and get this officer to stab them? It doesn't look like they were doing that. Does Maybe there's more to the footage and cope where y'all always got y'all hands full. But in this case, them closing the distance, yeah, maybe. But I'm curious as to why there was no use of a taser. At that distance, the officer would have been able to protect themselves and hit that suspect with the taser, put them votes in his ass and knock him off his feet and apprehend the suspect without nobody getting shot. Maybe this person had mental disorders. Maybe they were you know, faced with a mental illness. See, the problem with the Chicago PD is they're not trained to assess a person's mental capability. So for example, maybe this person did not take their meds, right? Maybe they're bipolar, maybe they have a mental disorder and the police show up armed and ready to shoot when in cases like this, if the person puts the officer's life in jeopardy and I understand following a verbal command, I get that. Following a verbal command in cases where officers trying to orchestrate what needs to happen could have very well been followed up by pepper spray (laughs) from that distance you could hit a person with pepper spray in the eyes to distract them Um, but that that wasn't anything that came up in this case there were you know there were options with the taser is one but like pepper spray and taser (laughs) but I don't know how many times this person was shot. However, uh, just looking at it from the standpoint of changing things, I don't think this is something that shouldn't be talked about. So that's why I'm bringing it to you. You already know what it is. Your boy Chase Trey. <laughs> I can't make this shit up, man. You know, it's last day entertainment. I talk, you listen, and of course, tell me what you think.